I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize, I'm a little bit late. Uh, I think uh, one hour late, something like that, I'm not sure. But I hope you understand the situation. I went to the bedroom and I found something very upsetting. Imagine, brother. Imagine, brother, you go to the bedroom. You find your wife in the lap of somebody else doing boom, boom together. And then what I should do? I told the guy to wait because I need to find four witnesses. The guy, he said, don't worry. Take your time. Just go. And let me know when you are coming back. We will continue. I went. I knock at the first neighbor door. He said, I'm busy. We are doing boom with my wife. I said to him, are you sure you are the one doing it or somebody else? He said, I'm sure. Actually, I have my <clears throat> wood there too. Okay, so. And it took me a lot of time. And then a brother, I went back. And I found the guy still in the bed. But they are not doing boom boom. I have four witnesses. I told him, please do something. He said, so that's it, we're done. Brother, what I will do now? According to Islam, there is no fornication and there is no adultery and there is no cheating. Because you have to have four witnesses. And they have to see the private part of the male going inside the private part of the female. What you see in the picture now is not enough to prove anything in Islam. No. Even if they are in the top of each other, excuse my language. Because even if you have all those witnesses, they did not see his private part getting in. <laughs> Neither coming out. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is the wisdom of Allah. Let us have some halal fun was that if a woman if a wife commits adultery and she's not pregnant and the husband finds out either by her confessing to him or him catching her red-handed you hold on how a muhammadan he can cut his wife red-handed can you elaborate? Sure. I will elaborate. And that person, he or she, are caught or is caught red-handed. And red-handed means yeah. that four male Muslim no witnesses uh -huh. saw the actual act. 
they have to see the actual act <clears throat> excuse me my voice is tired it's very cold here see uh, brother what this shake did not describe for you that you have to see the penis literally going in and out and Muhammad he described it as the pen go inside the inkwell as the pen go inside the inkwell now here you ask yourself what is the point of seeing the penis in the inkwell I mean, is the woman is a good woman if she is naked with the guy and he is on the top of her and his penis is not in when they came? <laughs> She's a decent woman. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, each time you read about this garbage religion, uh, you ask yourself, was Muhammad really, not only is for sure not a prophet, but was he really making fun of those people or what, what, what he is doing exactly? How in the world such a thing can be true? I will show you. <clears throat> A hadith in the front of me, I don't know if I can find it in English. This is islamweb.net. A person asking question. I heard uh, that if somebody he accused a woman she is married, he have to bring four witnesses in the front of the Farooq Umar, <clears throat> the caliphate. So uh, so he asked the first witness. Now the guy he have four witnesses. <laughs> it's not like he didn't have four witnesses no 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 he have the four witnesses <laughs> but no there is there is more details we need to know so he asked the first one uh, oh, uh, first person he said to him did you see it as the stake go inside the inkwell as the pain go inside the inkwell? He said yes. He asked the same to the second second person. He said yes. He said to the third one. He said yes. He asked the fourth one. He said yes. And then, sorry, the fourth one. He asked him. He said, "I saw his uh, her legs, her feet, in the top of her of of his uh, shoulder." And they were shaking <laughs> like the like the ear of a donkey. <laughs> so the caliphate he said to him, Did you see his penis going inside like the inkwell? He said no. The caliphate he said, Beat them. Beat who? Beat those four witnesses. Maybe you will not think that this is a true. Maybe you might think I'm making things up. I would, I would try to find it in English. But here we go. Translate to English. <laughs> so the last one, he saw the legs in the top of the shoulder of the guy. The, sh the legs of the women, her feet. He, showed, he saw them in the top of his shoulder and they were shaking like the ears of a donkey as it described here. When he come to the fourth, he said to him, the fourth one, what you saw? He said, I saw her feet on his shoulder, shaking like an ears of a running donkey. So he asked him, have you seen the pen in the inkwell, which means his penis? <laughs> the guy, he said, no. <laughs> so what the judgment of the caliphate beat them, beat who? Beat the witnesses. Three witnesses, they saw the penis of guy or the guy going in and out. 
as you see the first one he said to him did you see it going like the aisle the the, 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 ink, the the pen in the inkwell he said yes the second the second one he said yes the third one he said yes i saw it go to go to in and out the fourth one he said what i saw is her feet in her shoulder and they are shaking you know from the action the caliphate he did order to punish them which means punishing the witnesses so the person he's asking is it this is an authentic narration is it correct the answer for sure yes but brother it it is authentic it is authentic this story was narrated by al-hakam etc blah 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 and uh, at tabarani blah 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 and it's uh, you know blah 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 and it's sahih and authentic according to etc blah 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 so yes it is authentic what kind of rules this rules is so now we have four witnesses they saw an action of sex because all of them they saw i mean what what difference is going to make if she is naked and he is in the top of her and her legs is around his neck and he is and the other one he saw his penis getting in and the other one he saw his penis getting in and the third one he saw the penis getting in the fourth one he saw her legs around his neck how in the world that will not prove that they are they are, they are doing adultery <laughs> <laughs> brother if you go to a muslim guy and you are worried about the husband is coming don't worry he cannot do anything you have to go find four witnesses and not only that they have to see your penis getting in and out. So if you are wearing or co covering yourself by a blanket like this guy, there's no crime. And there is no fornication. Because nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. Zero. What do you think of a such moderate, hippie, tippy, nippy religion, if we can call it religion? So now you have to go and find four witnesses, and then you ask this Abdul here, he say, brother, please, can you do it, uh, like take the blanket off, if you don't mind, it's okay? Yeah, we need to take the blanket off, okay? Because now we need to see your, <clears throat> you know, so please brother can you take the blanket off uh, the guy he said no and he continue you don't have witnesses you don't have any proof of any fornication your wife she is a good woman there's four people they saw her the first one he saw the penis of the boyfriend doing in beam boom boom the second one he saw the penis the third one he saw the penis getting in too the fourth one, he saw her, the legs of your wife around the neck of the guy. There's no proof. Still, there's no proof. There's no proof. And what make it more crazy, Muhammad, he claimed that even if you have a proof, <laughs> that your wife committed adultery and she is punished let us say she is a stone but how you can do that i mean it's impossible to find four witnesses and they will see them doing it but even if you do so do you know that the son of your wife who is not your son he is your son to make it simple if a man this guy he is a cheating with your wife and he was sleeping with her for some time. And you are a good Abdul, mashallah. You go to the mosque, you pray five times a day, he come to the house five times a day. He's busy. You are in the mosque, 
He's in the house. God in the house is in the mosque. Alhamdulillah. And now let us say for the sake of argument, you got the four witnesses and they were able to see them doing boom boom and they saw his penis going in. And this woman, she have a child from this guy, not from you. Do you know according to Islam, this child is yours, not his? So now, the guy who did boom boom your wife, he will have a child from your wife, and this child will inherit your money. <laughs> Look at the justice, brother. The guy who stepped with your wife, he will be considered your son, his son. And he will take your name, and he will inherit your money. So the guy will be, excuse my language, he screwed you twice. Once when he slept with your wife, and the second when he took your money, because now his son will inherit your money. Can you believe it? Who is the one? The son belong to who? Muhammad, he said, belong to the bed. Oosh. What do you mean? Whoever owned the bed, he owned the son. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter who sleep in that bed, by the way. <laughs> The child belonged to the bed and the stoning for the adulterer. <laughs> Do you see it? The, the child belonged to the bed, the owner of the bed. So your wife, she cheated in your bed. She slept with the guy. You cannot maybe have kids even. Then your wife, before you find out, she gave a baby. But this is not your baby. Doesn't matter. Now the one who was sleeping with your wife, he got you twice. First time when he stepped with your wife, second time when he took your money. Now your son, which is his son, he will take your bank account, he will take the house, he will inherit, and then he will invite his daddy. Hey, daddy, the guy you stepped with the mother, you know, the, the, the wife, uh, which is my mother, uh, daddy, I, he died, I inherited him. Come over and live with us. <laughs> what kind of wisdom this wisdom is? How deep this religion is? Why those Christians don't see how wise it is How we can prove anything in this court of Islam then? Actually, Muhammad, he asked his followers, before you go to your house, you better tell your wife that you are coming. Before you go, send somebody, don't you, not yourself. Before you go and open the door, not, don't just knock at the door and come, especially if you are away for, for some time. He asked a sheikh, he said, what is the wisdom in this? He said, what was done the prophet is saving you what you will do if you go inside the house and you find your wife with somebody else and you cannot prove it do you have four witnesses how much is going to hurt you just send somebody if she have somebody with her he will leave and then by the time you arrive they you know she welcome you and she you know uh, uh, she do belly dancing for you and everybody is happy Why people don't see that this is an amazing, beautiful religion? Hold on, I'm receiving a text message. Oh, your husband is not there? Oh, okay. Well, guys, I cannot stay long, okay? I just received it from a, there's a decent woman, the true believing. And she said, don't worry, he can get it for witnesses because now everybody busy shuffling snow from, from the street. Oh yeah, too much cold, snow, storm, we lost electricity, brother. Nobody will be busy. Okay, I got you. Yeah, don't worry about witnesses. There is nobody, four witnesses cannot be found. Everybody is shuffling snow or they are watching football. And in the same time, we cover ourselves by the blanket and nobody will see anything anyway. Even if four witnesses, they came. And if you take it off before they take off the blanket, there's no proof. 
as you see the guy the three guys they saw even the penis in excuse my language i mean look how nice this guy is excuse my language excuse what this is a religion how it feel imagine that a person he come to your house he do boom boom to your wife and you come and you witness it with your own eyes and then you cannot even do anything about it actually if you accuse her the Quran in front of you it says you will be beaten 80 time they will beat you 80 times because you have no proof. I have three witnesses. They saw the penis going in, and the number four. Well, number four, he saw the her legs around her her neck, and they were naked. He was on the top of her. Still, there is no proof. There is no proof. I will try to post uh, the link for you. Uh, I need to shorten it so later you don't ask me <clears throat> where we can find this. Give me a second. What a stupid cult. What a stupid religion. Okay, I, I, I shortened the link and I will post it for you guys. You guys, you save it. And if you don't mind, you can post it later in the comment section for those who... And if you are a person who come later, you know, just uh, watch the, the chat and you will see the link. For those who download the videos, maybe it's better for you if you collect the links from the chat when you are downloading. So, short link. Okay, here we go. Uh, and the reason I need to shorten it because in the in the title there is uh, Arabic and uh, Google will not allow it to be post posted. Here we go. So this is the link. You can use Google Translation to translate. in case you care <clears throat> actually i tried to find this hadith in english but if any of you can find it in english uh, but don't forget to help us and post it in the comment section later so those that are watching the video they can see uh, a better translation which is google especially if it's an islamic website speaking about it uh, this religion obviously is a mad man cult made up and you know maybe you do not know if a Muslim woman according to Islam she say she is a virgin that does not mean she never had sex yet a virgin woman in Islam is a woman she had sex but she is not married or maybe she never had sex. So even if she had sex 1,000 times, according to Islam, she is a virgin. According to Islam, she is a virgin. Now, I am sure that Abdul will say to you, it doesn't say that, CP. You are a liar, CP. How she slept 1,000 times and you say she is a virgin, CP. You know them, right? Well, if you don't believe me, listen to it. They're still classified as virgin in their life. Women 
who have not, who has not married in their life. They're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times, still, they st <laughs> they're still classified as virgin. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear it? <laughs> this religion have different different uh, description for everything so we cannot steal but we can we can take the money of the christian the jews and we can steal from them yeah we cannot uh, rape but we can jump in the neighbors if they are blonde and they are not muslims we can kidnap the girls and rape them uh, we cannot lie we can but we can lie to our wife to our husband we can lie to the enemy we can lie to the friends who's left so I mean, they have different. They have it. They, they use same title you use or same words, but the words they use, they have nothing to do with the word meaning you have. So, if a Muslim woman, if you are going to marry a Muslim woman, I'm not insulting by the way. This is what your Sheikh is saying. So, if you ask a Muslim woman, uh, sorry, I have a question. Are you a virgin? The woman she was saying, Oh yeah. Oh sure, sure. And then you think, oh, okay, so thank, thanks to Allah, this woman, she never had sex with anyone. And then maybe you marry her, and you find that she is not a virgin. You said, you did lie to me. You said to me, you are a virgin. She said, oh, don't you know that a virgin in Islam mean I had sex 10,000 times before you, but I wasn't married yet? What? However, the punishment differs. So if a person fornicates this means that he is not married and was not married before and this is sort of called in islam as a virgin so a man or a woman <laughs> who have not who has not married in their life they're considered to be virgins even if they committed Adultery or fornication many times. Diversion. Even it's went many times, brother. Diversion. Yes, brother. Even they committed fornication many, many times before, brother. Diversion. Abdul, how many of you here are virgin? Like, come on, between us. I mean, just between us you know nobody will know okay <laughs> hey muslims i am a virgin who is a virgin too are you a virgin who is a yeah, this woman she keep texting me she said my husband is not there come on before they finished uh, suffering the snow I, I, for, you know but i'm a virgin by the way okay yeah, you had sex 10,000 times, so what? Your version, you know? <laughs> Man, hey, listen, do you do you think it, you have time to join us to be an admin in my chat, Sheikh Asim? Honestly, I like you. A virgin and was not married before. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life. They're considered to be virgins, even if they committed adultery or fornication many times. Okay, so guys, I have to go because I'm going to practice more virginity. You know, this is between us and you. Please don't share it with anybody, all right? Uh, 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 the virginity is very good you know we should practice it always many time many time and uh, you always you will be called virgin and that's uh, good what, what you can say you know very nice very nice mm. i'm so so glad hey, my friend the one asking me to try to contact you in facebook i don't have facebook i deleted all my account in those garbage uh, you know sites uh somebody saying uh, uh American, they killed another ISIS leader, my friend. What leader? This is a joke. Those Americans, they are the one who protect them. They killed one, but they don't allow the Syrian army to go and kill them the rest. Joe Biden, he protect the terrorists like Biden, like uh, like Erdogan. Don't fool yourself. They killed one. 
there's there's 80,000 people in the north of Syria. 80,000 terrorists. They killed one. What a victory, man. That's amazing. <laughs> what a joker. You know, in some some people they they try to find a victory in the place where there's no victory. Anyway, you know, I mean, this is a joke. Like, you know, Erdogan, he was dreaming that he saw a dream. He will free Jerusalem. Next month, the president of Israel is coming to Turkey. And Erdogan is kissing the shoes of the Israeli to come. The same he did with the Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar. Everybody, American, they put sanctions in the Chinese because they are persecuting the Muslims. French, they did the same. England, they did the same. But all the Muslim president right now, as we speak, they are in China in the opening of the Olympic. Not a single Muslim country puts sanctions on China. Do you see the hypocrisy? So those people, they say things in TV for you just to fool you. They are the one who support terrorists and they love them. And they are the one who use them. So don't fool yourself. Taliban, the same as Al-Qaeda, they were sponsored by the CIA when they were fighting Russia. So those people, they use them always. This is why they don't want them to be killed in Syria, because now they are using them to stop the Russian and to stop the, the, the Iranian. When they have no need for them, they will demolish them. It's a joke. Don't worry about those things. Those liars in the White House, they are just a bunch of, bunch of junkie. They have no dignity, the same as Muhammad. And I tell you that Joe Biden and his son, they are virgins. <laughs> If you don't understand how virgin they are, let this guy explain to you how Joe Biden and his son Hunter, they are so, so virgin. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. Mm -hmm. So a man or a woman mm -hmm. who have not, who has not married in their life. Right. They're considered to be virgins, even if they... Brother, are you a virgin? <laughs> anyway guys i don't want to keep you longer i want to keep this video short i just miss you what i can do i cannot resist but this lady her husband is not there and uh, she knew i'm a virgin you know so <clears throat> so i'm going to go and <clears throat> you know I, I, before the husband <laughs> come back and even if he come back you have to find four witnesses and uh, you know uh, what to, what he can do even if he even if they saw three of them the penis going in and out still they have no witnesses even if the fourth one he saw her legs around the neck of the guy like uh, the ears of a donkey <laughs> still they have no witnesses <laughs> i love this brother i love this religion many of you don't like it because you don't know the golden opportunity if you join this religion and in case uh, Muslims they say I'm lying here we go this is your Islamic website and this is the fatwa fatwa from big sheikhs those are not the jokers those, those are this is what they do for a living my friend this is the rabbis of Islam if we can call them rabbis and this is the date of it and this is the number of it. There's a number for it. One four zero one nine eight, brother. Mashallah, mashallah. Mash batata Allah. Batata. Batata. I heard the story. This story is so touching. And what is so touching too is the description of number four, where he saw the legs, the feet, and the legs of the women around the guy head and his shoulder. And, and they were moving, shaking like a running donkey. <laughs> I love this dress club saying, unbelievable. This guy is so good in the lecturer. He described it so good. As if you are watching, man. But he have a problem. He did not see the penis of the man going inside the vagina. How in the world you miss that? Why you focus in the feet, in the top of the shoulders, you idiot? But what about the three? The other three, they saw the penis going in. Not enough. Because the Quran said we need four. Four. Four, they have to see the penis going in and out. What if the woman wearing a skirt and she is <clears throat> in the top? They see nothing. 
Oh, well, you saw nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> she is a virgin, as you see. So I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, I apologize. This is a dirty topic, but Islam is dirty. Islam is garbage. And garbage in, garbage, garbage out. What do you expect? The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. From their fruits, you shall know them. He said, be aware of false prophets who comes to you in a sheep clothing, but in reality they are wolves. This is my friend, the teaching of a wolf. This is not the teaching of God. Have nothing to do with God. Because what, what is going to different to make if the three of them, they saw the penis in? And the husband too. What difference does it make? The women already, she is proving to be not a good woman. And by the way, this is the same for the man too, not only for the women. The good tree will give good fruits. The evil tree will give nothing but evil fruit. Every tree does not bear good fruit. It's cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruit, you will know them. If this man have little decency and he claimed that he is following Moses or even following what he called Isa, how that can be from God? What is godly in that? Based on this, any woman she can cheat in her husband, and obviously the husband he can do nothing about it. Because it is impossible to bring four witnesses and they have to see the private part going in and out. It is impossible. The husband get in, he did not see the private part get in, or he saw, doesn't make any difference, still he need four witnesses. And then the four witnesses, they have to come. And this man who is having sex, he have to show them his penis getting in. Who is going? What a stupid cult. What a disgusting cult. Garbage in, garbage out. I wanted to give you this is for a snack. It is a Friday evening. It's snowing in many places in the USA. It's very cold. And some places actually they lost electricity. I hope all of you are safe. We pray for all people to see the truth and the truth will set them free. And we love the Muslims. We are not putting you down. We are exposing the teaching which you've been fooled into. Or maybe you are born into. This is garbage. This is nothing but garbage. God bless you. And see you soon again. This is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you for today. And sorry I have to go because there is a virgin waiting to practice halal fun. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative 
as holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 